See, the boy first poem isn't always a love poem. You can ask Vika Jax. Mm. That poem, that boy, <laughs> that boy is climbing the stage for the first time. About to perform his first poem. Should I tell him? Should I tell him that sometimes the stage is a boxing ring and is not Muhammad Ali enough to land all his punches? Sometimes a punchline doesn't eat the target. But what does a poet have in common with a boxer? They are both packing a bunch, trying to eat at delicate spots. But the boy doesn't know that not all these people before him value the spot. Some are wondering what the metaphor is there for. Therefore, the, poem, the poet doesn't always have to be a boxer, throwing punches while expecting the audience to snap when the blows eat. Sometimes, the first time, the poet blows it. Somewhere in Ogumosho, a girl is climbing the stage for the first time. Her song interwoven with panic. She is about to perform her first poem. She wonders if her poem is poetic enough to be called a poem. Her lungs fold up in prayer. That the stage does not send its fright to prey on her. Should I tell her? Should I tell her? That sometimes, like mismanaged locks, the stage doesn't smell nice. And not every talent can survive the stench you can ask nice. Sometimes, the stage is fire underwater. Jesus hands Jacob's voice, the calm before the storm. But in spite of all this, but in spite of all this, the stage is sagely. It teaches you that sometimes a punchline is a boomerang. It comes back to eat you. It teaches you that no matter how gory your story is, the stage is the safest place to give it wings. See, sometimes the stage is only. It's everything home can be. That stillness before your voice caresses the mic. Tell me, how else do you define peace? This is what Trinity is. The point, the stage, the mic.